In this short tutorial, we will cover how to get the occurrences of a particular value in a column as a percentage in Google Sheets. So to do this, it takes a number of different formulas or functions and we compound them together into one. So let's split them up first and then join them together at the end. In our example, we'll grab the occurrences of all the A's in this column B choices list. So first we need to get the count of all the A's. To do that, we can use the count if function. So let's do that now. Equals count if. Count if takes a range, and that's going to be our range of values. So I'm going to click B3, hit Control, Shift, and down arrow to select the range, and then comma. And now I want to add in my A, the value I want to search for. I'll close that off, and that gives us seven. Next, we'll need the total count of all the values in this range of choices here. To do that we need a count, but we can't use the regular count, C-O-U-N-T, because that only counts those values that are numbers. We need one that counts all the values, either a number or a letter, so we can use count A here. Alright, open our brackets again, and we'll select this range. From B3, hold Control, Shift and down arrow to select, and that gives us 18. Fantastic, so that's all the total count of all the values in this range. Next, we divide our count of all the A's by the total count of all the values. So we go equals E7 and then divided by F7. And then that gets our value as a decimal. And all we need to do now is go up here and select format as percentage to get our percentage. Cool. All right, so now we have all these different formulas here. Let's combine them together to make one big formula. So we'll go equals, count, if. So we select B3, control, shift, down arrow, comma, and we need A for what we're searching for, close, divided by our total count. And then we select count A, C-O-U-N-T, A, and select B3 all the way down, control, shift, down arrow, close the brackets, that gets our decimal, and click the cell again, and format as percentage. There you go. Now, if you intend on having more data in this column, you can open up these ranges to B3 to B, and hit enter, and it does the same thing. It won't count anything empty. And you might wanna make this value here dynamic, so you might wanna change it to B or C easily, and putting it inside the formula makes it a bit more tricky, so we can close that. Let's say we want to change that in column F9, and we'll say A for now. Great, and we'll go in here and change this to that cell. So delete, and select the cell. Cool, and we've got the same value. Here we can change this now to B, and it will change dynamically. So if you want to find out how to include the entire range and get all the occurrences as a percentage of the entire range, I've got a tutorial on my website for that and it's in the description below. If you like the tutorial, hit the like button. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.